Hi, I'm Osha Levy, Vice President of Marketing at Solar Light. And today we're going to be discussing our 16S series solar simulators. Now, Solar Light 16S series simulators are high precision light sources for both professional and laboratory applications. And although they're utilized worldwide for many different functions, we've combined these simulators with our high quality meters, dose controllers, sensors, and other hardware to create complete turnkey kits for the most popular applications. These include in vivo SPF testing, photovoltaic cell testing, fade and color fastness testing, materials testing, photobiology research, FDA in vitro broad spectrum sunscreen testing, UVB solar simulation, infrared testing, academic research, and just general purpose irradiation. Now the 16S series solar simulators are available in both 150 watt and 300 watt variations, each using a premium quality ozone free xenon arc lamp to produce a one to three centimeter spot beam depending on the application. Let's take a closer look at these simulators in greater detail. Solar light simulators in the 16S series are high precision turnkey fade and color fastness testing light sources for professional and laboratory applications. The single output of the 16S simulator produces solar ultraviolet radiation in the range of 290 to 400 nanometers and can output a year's worth of ultraviolet radiation in approximately seven days for accelerated age testing. The 16S300-003 accurately replicates the sun's ultraviolet portion of the spectrum and meets the latest standards for light sources by ASTM, including G151 and G155. Typical applications include testing plastics, paints, coatings, inks, dyes, vinyls, and fabrics. By eliminating the visible and infrared light from its output, UV levels 10 to 12 times stronger than tropical sun can be produced without the thermal component associated with these high levels of light. We use these same simulators to provide contract testing services to test fabrics and materials here at Solar Light, so you can be sure that our equipment will meet your professional needs as well. Many options, such as the right angle beam assembly, liquid light guides, lab jack stands, and much more are available for this kit and shown throughout this video. The DCS2 is a portable dose controller and meter compatible with our existing patented PMA intelligence sensors. Information stored in the sensor is instantly recognized by the DCS2, thus negating the need to input offsets, calibration data, and units, saving the end user valuable time. It measures the spectral response following the erythema action spectrum and UVA spectrum to allow accurate dose control when measuring SPF values or the pre-irradiation step during in vitro testing. It's also capable of controlling PV cell testing procedures and materials testing studies. The seven inch touch sensitive screen allows the user to follow intuitive menus and makes it easy to set control parameters. Pre-programmed data from the intelligence sensors also makes setting up a test much faster. In the event of a fault arising during a run cycle, the DCS2 provides a visual fault indication and automatically closes down the simulator saving time and reducing the chances of false reporting. This unit presents the state-of-the-art methodology required in a busy testing laboratory. The PMA2107 UVA plus B sensor gives an accurate measurement of non-weighted UVA and UVB ultraviolet radiation from sunlight or artificial light sources. The sensor has an angular response very close to the ideal cosine function making it suitable for measurements of diffuse radiation or radiation generated by extended sources. High dynamic range allows measurements of very weak signals down to 0 0.001 milliwatts per centimeter squared, as well as very strong irradiances up to 200 milliwatts per centimeter squared. The right angle beam assembly shown in this video is optional and allows the ultraviolet beam to be aimed straight down or up rather than horizontally. It installs within a few minutes using standard hand tools. The liquid light guide assembly is an 8mm guide including all necessary brackets and hardware. It allows the simulator's light to be aimed via the flexible guide and installs within a few minutes using standard hand tools. The optional laboratory scissor jack provides a 6 by 6 inch surface for your sample and allows a height adjustment from a low of 2 and 3 quarter inches to a high of 11 inches. It also includes a rubber mounting pad. We're going to go over the basic setup and operation of this fade and color fastness testing kit, which is very straightforward and user-friendly. 
The first step is to measure the intensity of the simulator spot beam. The DCS2 controller will guide us through this process. We're going to select Intensity Setting and then press Measure Intensity. From here, we'll choose to measure the actual spot beam. Next, we have to select the number of spots we want to measure in the irradiation area. We recommend at least five, the center of the beam and four outer edges. But you can change the number of spots easily with the DCS2's keypad. Now we're going to place the sensor in the center of the light path and press Start. The simulator shutter will open, and the intensity will read in milliwatts per centimeter squared. After the intensity reading stabilizes, which takes a few seconds, press Stop on the DCS2 and move the sensor to an outer edge of the beam. Now we're on position two. Press Start, watch the reading stabilize, press Stop, and move to position three. Repeat this process for positions four and five. At this point, the simulator shutter is closed, and average intensity is displayed from our five measured spots. So this completes the measured intensity, and we can hit Done on the DCS2. The next step is to select the region which we want to simulate. We can pick from tropical, subtropical, temperate, or custom. Now, I can preset the value in years, months, or days to get the exact dose I need. At this point, we're ready to start the real test. We remove the sensor and insert our sample. We adjust the lab jack so that the height of the sample is the same as the height of the sensor, which is usually approximately 180 millimeters. And then we hit start on the DCS2. The shutter opens and the DCS2 displays the exact time of test start, expected finish, and cumulative dose. You can always pause the test to study color or texture change and resume whenever you want to. The DCS2 keeps track of everything from beginning to end. Thanks for watching. And please remember, if you need any more information about our products or our services, please log on to our website at www.solarlight.com. Drop us an email at info@solarlight.com or give us a call at 215-517-8700.